For about 15 years, I had the distinct honor and privilege to convene a grief group. The participants changed over the years. They were folks that had lost husbands, wives, children, friends, and were struggling with their grief, needed a place to talk about their experiences and their feelings. It was a sacred and holy time, one that changed me forever. One of the things that became fairly commonplace within the group was the sharing of stories, of experiences. One might call them paranormal experiences, the visitations by loved ones or reassurances or signs and wonders. As a good scientist that I was raised as and educated as, I listened to these stories early on with a large amount of skepticism. It was just an overactive imagination, or it was a great longing desire to maintain a relationship. It was wishful thinking. It was all in their heads. But as time went on, and as I listened to more and more of these stories, I started to wonder, was there more to this than, as Dickens once said, a piece of undigested dinner? In the years after the group, I have experienced on several occasions what are often referred to as religious experiences, things that are beyond the norm. Yeah, I go so far as to call them paranormal. And yet I am reticent about sharing that with all but a few very close friends and colleagues. It's simply not safe. I mean, what might people think? I've gone mad. I remember a number of years ago, I was at a spiritual retreat. It was mostly colleagues of mine. There were a few lay people involved. And at one point, one of the lay people asked the question of the clergy whether or not any of them had ever had a religious experience. The silence was deafening. At that moment, I realized it probably wasn't safe for me to volunteer. I did talk with a woman later and explained to her that I had and we had a wonderful talk. But it was sad that in a religious gathering, one could not admit that there were things that one experienced that were beyond the things of this world. Have we become so secular that there is no room for the mystery of God? Have we pushed that mystery and relegated it simply to entertainment? Or is there a place for us in the church to continue to raise that threshold? to begin to talk about how God continues to intervene in human life in ways that don't always make sense. 
I listen outside of the church and I hear people talking about hauntings and visitations quite readily. Why are we so afraid to admit that God knows no bounds or boundaries and that God continues to intervene in human life whether bitten or not continuing to speak to us in mysterious and marvelous ways Immortal, invisible, God only wise, Enlight, inaccessible, hid from our eyes, Most blessed, most glorious, the Ancient of Days, Almighty, victorious, thy great name we praise unresting unhastening and silent as light nor wanting nor wasting thou rulest in might thy justice like fountain thy soaring above thy clouds which are fountains of goodness and love to all life thou givest, to both great and small, in all life thou livest, the true life of all. We blossom and flourish like leaves on a tree, and wither and perish, but not changeth thee. Thou reignest in glory, thou dwellest in light. Thine angels adore thee, all veiling their sight. Our Lord, we would render, O oh, help us to see. Tis only the splendor of light hideth. Thank